You're reporting some interesting findings from the General Accounting Office report from 2016. Talk about those. So there was a problem uh, that, that Congress looked into this after 2016 in that uh, there were reports that the Secret Service had been overcharged for airfare. Not exactly, it wasn't determined if this was intentional or not, but that there were four campaigns that received Secret Service protection during that campaign. Trump, Hillary, Bernie Sanders, and Ben Carson, and that the Trump campaign had submitted um, invoices without enough information to accurately uh, determine if they were correct. They had double billed them a few times, um, and that some of the information was just inaccurate. The Secret Service paid all of the invoices. It did not reach back out to the Trump campaign and ask for corrected information at all. So. Uh, you know, not the Trump campaign's fault by any stretch, though it probably should have made sure its billing was correct and not duplicated. Uh, but the Secret Service there was was not doing a good job of confirming it was paying the correct amounts. And, and the way it, what it's paying is the Secret Service is allowed to reimburse campaigns for airfare. Uh, the guidance is that they can be use discretionary, use their own discretion in determining a price, but it should be about what the cost of uh, first class airfare is. But there's there's no way to really determine that right now. And you know the difference between Trump and those other campaigns is that he owns his own airplanes. You touched on this earlier, but I want you to expand on it now. Democrats back in 2022 on the House Oversight Committee accused the Trump uh, organization of charging the Secret Service excessive rates when it comes to their hotel rooms. What happened there? Yeah. So uh, Eric Trump famously told Yahoo Finance that. You know, when when they when his father stays at one of their properties as president, you know, they do it for free or just at cost. They're not making any money. And that uh, that's crap. Um, there is no shortage of the evidence out there and receipts that came out through FOIA that the Trump organization was often charging as much as it possibly could based on uh, government rates. And in this case, the uh, you know, Secret Service doesn't necessarily have to pay government rates because if it pays what it needs to to protect the president. And there was all sorts of evidence there uh, that the Democrats provided showing that the you know, Trump organization had charged the Secret Service rates that were well above what the market was. Has the Secret Service at all responded to your story? So I reached out to them on uh, Friday afternoon and they, they said that they are reviewing invoices. Uh, they pay them in a timely manner but they couldn't get into any specifics, understandably so. You know, I, I reached out to them on, on a Friday afternoon of a holiday weekend, in which case the guy, you know, the, the spokesperson was like, yeah, I, I think you're not gonna be able to get a great response. So I am following up with them to see if we can get some more detailed information on that. But right now, uh, best we have is that they claim that they're processing them correctly. And what about Trump's team? Any response from them? No, no, the, the Trump campaign did not respond, which is, pretty standard for them when reporting on this kind of stuff.